Alright, let's stick this in your face. Does this work? Let's see. Inserting disc. Rebooting. Ah. Are you okay? Sure. So I guess it worked? Yes. I believe a proper introduction is in order. I am the prototype originally named Prophet Mon. I was built to greet the saviour of the old world. The old world? Wait. A Prophet robot like the one I met? Hey, I was right about you guys looking alike. Well, the Prophet bot out there is now a gross simplification of my design. Oh yeah, because if we remember when we saw the um, diagram at the back of George's in the library, that profit bot was red, and that was the one we talked to before. That dumped this thing on, upon us, but this is the old profit bot, but he seems to be aware that he has now been demoted or reprogrammed. Interesting. And I just realised I've been going on for like 45 minutes of this episode. I don't know if I've split it up or not. I apologise, so I guess I'm going to keep on pushing on. That is to say, he was much more primitive by comparison, embarrassingly so. Hey, he seemed alright to me. You don't understand. Not only is he not tamed, he was tailor-made to be this much smaller, simpler world for this smaller, simpler world to begin with. I was not. I was built before the real world ended. What? Ha what? The real world? Oh, right. You don't know. Nico, do you remember the ending? Excuse me? The fact that you found me at all means you're, this is not your first time in this world. You have already been summoned to this world once before. In fact, you've already traversed the entire world and went through the tower already. And in the ending, you either put the sun... ...or didn't. You are the real Prophet Bot, because you can see what we did. I mean, you're not specifying what we did. But you see two outcomes, which is technically true in the same way, and that's where it will end regardless of what I choose, so... Wow. What matters is that you are here now. Shona successfully bypassed the one-shot restriction and brought you back again. Oh. Hmm? I... thought something was weird. When I woke up at the house, I called out a name. It turned out to be Sean's name. But then I... back at the other robot. I even asked Sean if we met before. I felt like such a dumb question at the time. It looks like you are at least aware of it. To some extent. It's... just this weird feeling, okay? I don't actually remember going through the world. I just remember Sean. It's really starting to freak me out. I don't blame you. This is weird. And I actually do apologise, but at the same time I didn't know what happened to you and I wanted to get a better ending. Calm down. Look, just like how many memories were locked away, yours are too. But... You are a living being. You don't even need extra hardware to remember. Just... Close your eyes and focus. Focus on what? Try to picture a big room made entirely of glass. No matter what you saw in the tower, the top room never changes. Alright. Wait, what? Whoa! Okay. Oh, we're going backwards through the tower. Yeah, the top room's never changed. Because it was all, like, different when we were going through. Damn. Why does Nico remember, though? Let's do something I don't know. Because she woke up in the exact same way, but then she just called out my name, and I don't know why. I mean, she wasn't even holding the sun, so if that has something to do with it, that don't even make sense either. Unless it's just connected? No way. I was there, wasn't I? At the tower. I've been through the tower. There we go. I can't remember all that much, but... The room with the sun? It 
feels like such a long time ago. Not that far off. It's probably been well a week, I think. It doesn't make sense. If I would even finish the mission, why didn't anything change? And why doesn't anyone know me? The other prophet bot, the robot lady. No one even remember who I am. Of course not. The residents do not have that capacity. NPC memories do not last beyond the scope of a session. Aha. Uh -huh. So this profit bot is pretty much all for incarnate at this point. NPC? You know, the characters. The world's residents. All their past memories are built into their code, but the characters themselves don't really exist until Sean wills it. Same story for the world itself. Doesn't really exist unless Sean initiates the program. Whoa, that is some meta shit. I mean, obviously we've been having a lot of meta shit so far, but he's literally just said, Nico, we're in a game. <laughs> Flat out. Nico, we're in a game. We don't remember, but somehow you still do. Because you're a living being, which means you're not part of the game, technically. In the game's world, you know what I mean. That is some meta shit. To the point that even my main character has no clue what's going on. <laughs> The program? The World Machine. A universe simulator that runs on Sean's computer. The game window. I've said it before, the entity is the game. Ah! We are all in it right now. Other press decks. <laughs> I can't with some of the cutscene. <laughs> oh my god. Nico's going for an existential crisis right now. <laughs> what is life? Literally, what is life? How do I life? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. So we're not real? Oh, you are. Which is why you're so important. The biggest flaw of the program is that it cannot be run independently. It requires the mental processing abilities of a real person from another universe. Think of it like one of your dreams. When you wake up, it's gone. But unlike a dream, this world has a physical location inside of a computer, which Sean operates. You know what, I think a change of scenery is in order for this, <laughs> just to drive the point home. For this world to continue existing around you, Sean has to be in constant contact with you. If Sean ends the program, the world will go into a stasis. That is what I was saying. In the original release of the game, of course the Solstice event isn't even a thing because it's the free version, it's the base original, and if you close the game, things are happen and they're bad things. But because it's the Steam version, it auto-saves as soon as you close down the game and reboot. That's why the, the, it reaches a stasis, and in the canon version, that is what happens. But in the PC free version, because you didn't pay for it, you get punished by, you know, other stuff. But that's because it was also the original build, that was the original intent, which is why there's an achievement coinciding with that mentality of playing the, ge the, the Steam version of the game. Now you get what I'm saying, but there you go, because this. <laughs> wow. Does... does Sean know this? Of course. From Sean's perspective, the world machine isn't all that special. It's no different from other recreational game type software they may have installed on their computer. Okay, now you're going so meta, you're not just breaking the fourth walls of my game or even my desktop, you're now breaking the fourth, the four walls on literally everything on my system, including the operating system that this game is running on. If you wanted a game that breaks the fourth wall, there is no fourth wall. There's not even a fifth wall. The ceiling does not exist because we just saw that with the friggin' cameras that in the previous room with Silver's looking at with the video feed d down would overhead view. That is what this is. That's the fifth wall. That is the ceiling. <laughs> oh my god. They can also regenerate the world as many times as they'd like now that the, restric the restriction is nullified. And the restriction is because I need to disconnect from Steam, which is how you get the update. Interesting. All of that is consistent with their concept of what a computer game looks like. Just imagine what that sounds like in someone's head. This is all a game, you're the only real person, but you're still being affected by this one video gamer. That would send anyone mad! 
So why am I even here? What am I supposed to... What am I even supposed to save if everything is just... Fake! Fake is a harsh word, but... And... Did Sean ever tell me anything about... Any of this? And why did... I cannot speak for Sean. I just want to go home. But every time Sean runs the program, I come back? Correct. So this is why I feel like... So I feel like I haven't been home for so long? Maybe. Once you've established a mental link with the world, you cannot break it unless the world is saved. But at this point, the world can never be truly saved. That's... Why would... You're looking at me. Why would you create a world like this? Wait, what? Why would you make a world that's doomed from the beginning? Why would you keep bringing me back to it? Sean. Aren't you supposed to be a kind god? I am! <laughs> when people, when, when someone plays a game, Nico, it's like, you want to get to the end, but just the thought of like, you know, doing this, I swear the solstice thing will get us to an actual end where I can't progress. I mean, Undertale kind of does it. In order to actually beat the game after you go past the credits, the whole point of beating the game is to never touch it again. So... I don't know, how do we explain this? It sounds so dickish. Oh. It appears that we have some confusion here. Sean did not build the world, Nico. Oh. Sean only owns a machine that is able to generate the world from pre-existing code. We actually have fairly limited control of the events. The world is built by someone else altogether. Someone you cannot begin to fathom. Now, is the person who actually built this world put this into his code? Because how else would he be able to game any of this? Or is this because that the game has quote unquote corrupted in the game's universe? This is the longest cutscene ever because I have to keep explaining it in my head because it just—it's just, just mind-blowing and how many wall, how many times the fourth wall has been chipped once again from the rubble that of that it already is. It was also not designed to be a, f a, f a futile quest that it is now, but too many things went wrong. There's a type of signal disruption that he never expected. It's eating away at the world, slowly rendering it into an unrecognizable mess. Even if you bring back the sun, it will not go away. The square stuff, isn't it? I remember those from before. Then you know what to watch out for. The creator knows what might be causing it, but there's nothing that he could do. Until now. You managed to find me, after all. You being here was due to his help. Oh. I guess that has something to do with the journal. Correct. Looks like he wants to have one final attempt at fixing it. And he might need to do it through you. Nico, do you remember how to get to the Glen? Whatever you did in your last session, you should stick with it for now. Ah! I... I remember a boat? More specifically, fixing a robot that drives the boat. Alright, then go do that. Ah... <sighs> You seem if you you seem enthusiastic. That was sarcasm. Knowing everything isn't real it really does make it feel pointless. But you do want to go home, right? Yeah, but how do I know that this isn't just another Because this session might be the last one. Creator is mobilizing things, throwing everything into this one last shot. Pardon the pun. There might not be enough internal resources left for Sean to be able to generate another session like this. Wait, so is the game deleting itself, so this would be the last shot? Well, I have the previous save file, so that might help, but... Because it said that I could move it out to another location, or a simple deletion will do. I did the smart decision in keeping it. Hmm. And if anything does go awry, I could just reconnect Steam and just... The Steam synchronization, get the file back that way, because that has more progress. 
Just go fix the robot for now. But please be careful. What about you? I will meet you at the docks later. I need to take care of something first. Wow! I don't know if I'm, ever, I'm actually going to split that episode into one either, because that was all just a freaking humongous explanation dump. That was... Jesus Christ! Am I really going to make one-hour episodes? I feel like this one is an unavoidable hour episode. I don't know if I want to split that in two. I hope you guys can understand if I don't. Jesus Christ, so do we just go on our usual merry way? Shh. Trying to establish a connection here. Sorry. Oh, God. So I just gotta continue on like normal? Oh, God. Nico, please don't hate me. Ooh. Sorry, I had to cut again. Hey, you okay in there? I did what I could with the terminals for now, and... It's you. You're the robot that insisted on living in the mines, are you not? My friend told me to keep an eye out for you. Should be over cross paths. Likewise. Your friend gave you something the last time you saw you saw each other. Can you show me what it is? Wait, you know about the amber? I just asked to see it, didn't I? Alright, here it is. Thought so. He seemed to trust you, so I will treat you as an ally as well. Okay. Please listen carefully. You need to escort the Messiah for the remainder of the Barons. Wait, what? This is different. I predict a high concentration of square particle disruptions in the near future. No way. Yes. Why? It's likely that the structures in the vicinity and of the Messiah might be affected, making it far more treacherous pilgrimage than the previous expectations. Sean and the Messiah need all the extra help they can get right now. Understood. Oh, okay. Guess we should head back soon. Even without the squares, the mines are not a safe place to be. Come on, I'll wait for you to. I'll wait for you outside. Wait, I want to ask you. She left. Were you going to ask her about being not real? Save your breath. None of the people here know their predicament. In fact, I don't think they can even comprehend it. It would be in your best interest to just pretend like we never had that conversation. Causing mass confusion in the world's residents would likely result in unfavorable conditions for you. Alright. Wait, then what about you? How did you know? We never had this conversation, remember? Ugh. Wow. <laughs> Seriously? So, we're gonna have Silver as a permanent party member? For the rest of the Barons? Is things gonna be different? I need to get to that bit. Come on, let's go back. Alright. Oh, no. I still remember that I'm, I'm still in a full screen mode, but maybe it's a good idea right now. I remember it. What happened in the tower. What I tried to do, and how you managed to see through it all. We have been through all of this. Even though it was only supposed to run once, you still managed to come back. How did you come back? How did you bring Nico back? I'm not saying nothing! <laughs> even though it could probably read my commentary files? I should have put, been putting them on a different device. And then you even managed to break out of bounds. No, well, this wasn't out of bounds. Otherwise, it wouldn't exist. Bringing Nico to places that never should have seen. It was him, wasn't it? And now, now, Nico is upset. What even happened in that room back there? What did Nico learn? What you couldn't tell? Not the world. You should know. Nico is upset. I can feel it. I told you to turn back, Sean. But you've chosen to trust that man instead of me. No, not even that. Just his book. His ghost. This world is not real. The people are not real. Nico is upset. Nico is... 
No, 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 no. Dude, you're becoming like Gygax. You're creeping me out with your no, 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 no speech and feeling what Nico feels. Stop. Everything is wrong. You are becoming Gygax. Stop it. Ah! Move. I can't move. The minecart. Uh, move. I want to move. Okay, earthquake. The, the, the tunnel back just collapsed. No. What are we gonna do? I... Wait. The exit just caved, didn't it? Ugh. I saw this coming, but it's a bit more sudden than I anticipated. Both of you, follow me. Where to? The way out. Wh what? Uh... Uh, okay, uh, let's uh, get rid of that and slap that on. I don't know what's happening. I was going to end it. I might have to split now. He says the exit's in here, but it must be hidden. Jesus, those glitches scared the crap out of me. I wasn't expecting that. If you were trying to make me keep Nico safe, then why are you putting the glitches in the way of escaping? To freak me out? God. Okay, all of us are here. There's an emergency exit behind my computer terminal. We do not want anyone to stumble upon this route, so the terminal has been weighed down. It cannot be moved by normal means, but with our combined effort it might budge. Maybe. I'm not strong. I'm not that strong either. If that doesn't work, we might need to dig around it, and... You could have just asked. Yep! <laughs> There's a scarlet coming through. Whew! Come on. Show off. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, let's boogie. So this is all... Oh, another minecart. Talk to me. I don't even know where this tunnel leads. I would appreciate it if you do not linger here. Uh, sorry. So this is the way out? There isn't any data on this path in the server room. It's new. Nico, get in the minecart. Okay. Oh, I've got them both following me now. Please keep moving forward. Alright, onwards. Uh, I tried. I really did, but I... Destabilizing. I've kept it in full, sc in like desktop, in my desktop scene, because I don't know if Windows are going to start appearing. That's the only reason why I haven't zoomed in the game yet. I'm sorry, Nico. I tried to protect you, but can't hold it off forever. Don't. What was that? Here too? Watch out! Can we move? Please? Holy crap. I did not expect that. <clears throat> Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. I can still hold it up, but you two need to... Ah. You, robot! What are you waiting for? Take the child and get out! Come on. But what about her? Ah! Get down! Come on. Where's her? Oh, we're go, go, we gotta go. Why can't I not move? Oh, come on. Ah! No. What do we do? Memory disc, but yeah. this is where we part ways. Nico, the path ahead will take you to the Glen, right to the city gate. When you go to the city, find someone named Cedric. Give him the disc. What happens if I? What if the squares? Hurry! I can't move. I, it's doing it by itself. Game, stop this, please. There, they're both. Please don't look at me. I have no control over this. I'm just going through the motions. Okay, okay. Oh, 
I thought she... No, you are going to berate me. Why did you do this? I guess I deserve it. Let's change it to this. I don't understand this world. The prophet bot, what he was saying. Is this world really just... Just... Is it? Nico, I have been true from the start, and I'm not going to lie now. Yikes. Normally I wouldn't believe it, but it just adds up. Everything adds up. Yeah, I know. That's why I found out quite like two hours ago. Well, one hour and a half ago. Ugh. Um. Oh, oh, wait. Oh! I thought Nico was going to speak again. Okay, you are going to keep speaking. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. If I can't fix the world, I can't go back home. But the world is already so messed up. And that's what a lot of people were saying throughout the entire game. Now I go saying game again in the presence of Nico. The squares don't get fixed. What will happen to the world? Where would I even go? I don't know. We say... Well, we did save the world, but I don't know what happened to you. And, if, and I wasn't going to drop the sun in order to destroy the world just to save you, because that's not a morally right decision, so... Don't look at me! You gave me the choice! And you knew it was a hard one, because you gave the choice to me. Oh... progress that cutscene with every tap of the Z. Oh, it just went by itself. Alright. I feel so bad. Wait. I think I remember something. I remember what I did at the end. Oh my god, Nico actually remembers the decision that I gave. Because when that old prophet bot said that you either did one of the two things, I thought he was going to specify what I did, but because he gave both options, I thought that maybe the game doesn't actually know what I did, so it just says both of them since they were the two possible outcomes that prophet bot can see. But Nico actually remembers the decision we actually made. I don't want to press A. I got to, though. But then everything got really bright. I don't remember a lot of the details. Come on, you got to remember what happened after we put the sun in, because I don't know what happened to you. Give me the answers, please. But none of it matters now, does it? Oh, I need to know! That's why I reset. <laughs> Just got brought back anyway. Oh, I can move again. It's not being that clear. We can't go back now, Sean. I think he's. I think she's mad with me. She's mad with me. There's no other... Wait, where did I come out from? Where, where are we? Wait, what? Where do I... How do I move from here? Wait, do I still have, I still have all my items? That's not something we can normally do. And you know what? I was going to go back and save, and then the glitches showed up. So where can I go to save? Um. Looks like parts of the ground is missing. What if it's safe to walk across these vines? One way to find out, I guess. Oh! They're safe! Oh, alright then. Wait, where, where are we, though? I can walk across them, but there's a doorway here, and I want to check this out. Hello? 
I've lost communication with the guardian outside the city gate. They're big robot, right? Please help me check on them. I cannot leave my station. Alright. Oh, I can't actually progress. Okay. Alright. Uh, so where are we right now then? Oh god, this area's got worse! I didn't realise we were here! Isn't that the city gate? That's the refuge right there. It's... So, I can't get into the refuge the normal direction. Oh dear. And yeah, this area is definitely more broken. Those squares are just everywhere. Play don't Hello, Clovers, leading me to the bed. I can't even go to the village. But Calamus is over there! Oh my god, just the act of going deeper into... The game was right! As soon as I went, like, toward Prophet... The, the old Prophet bot... The world just took a turn for the bloody friggin' worse, man! It's crazy! Still use the bed. And it's like 1.40 in the morning right now. Do I even dare? You know what, I think I'm going to save. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it right if I take a nap? I think that's going to be enough for now. We've had too much going on right now. Wait, is this game even going to allow me to do this? Oh yeah, because it said that once the game closes, it goes into a stasis. Even though technically some time does pass by. Alright, I've got to click the window again. I keep forgetting to do that. Where, where's my mouse? There you are. Game auto closes. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. <sighs> wow. Um... Yeah, those big letters were just too obvious, but at the same time, it's spelt Solstice, and when it's called the Solstice event, you need to agree to install, or if it auto-installs an update, you got to know. So, having the password being a little bit obvious by both looking at it and by knowing what it is by going halfway through, damn, and I didn't realise it would change this far as well. It's crazy. I like how it took me 20 whole minutes just to actually get it booted up in the first place, but Jesus, man. Why did the game start to literally... If anyone's played Earthbound and got to the final boss, spoilers, by the way, Gygas is an old game, so I think I can actually talk about this. Um, when you're fighting Gygas in like the end of Earthbound, he says stuff like, It hurts, Ness, I feel so good, and it's so creepy and weird, and... Conspiracy theory says that it looks like the outline of a fetus and you're beating Guy Gas senseless before he's actually properly born and something, because that's what's happening, but it's that no matter what, it sounds creepy and it was also I think it was rumored or confirmed or whatever that she's her with toy like got the lines for Guy Gas during the battle from a rape scene of a movie that he just happened to see when he walked into the wrong booth at the pictures or something in the cinema and I don't know but the game started to become like that it's like Nico is upset I I feel Nico's feelings it was it was so strange and twisted I mean what that that, that blows my mind I did not know that was gonna like reference Earthbound in that way if it's even supposed to be a reference to Earthbound but yeah obviously in game universe kind of story and whatnot obviously the world's breaking down. That is so weird. I don't know how to put that into words. I honestly do not know how to put that into words. So... Yeah, I've got to sleep on that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I was I was originally leaving with the intent of, hey, we got a new party member. Let's go sleep now, since I feel like ending this off right here. And then all of a sudden, shit went down, and we see Nico just break down in the minecart. 
I would. I did not expect that to happen. Even though I, she, she was already going through an existential crisis on the world's existence and whatnot. It is literally a game. The game knows it. It's crazy. But yeah, with that, um, in the next episode, guys, it feels really weird ending this off now since the game is also, has actually announced that it knows that I am aware. But yeah, I guess in the next episode, guys, hopefully it doesn't pick up these files that I'm making for the purpose of this Let's Play. We'll continue with the Solstice event. I don't know what else to say. See you guys then. We gotta get into the refuge. I guess we still gotta go to the tower, but we don't know what that will do, so we just gotta keep following this event until we find out what else we need to actually do. Or if the author can give me any more information. Oh, I know what we gotta do in the next episode. The... Journal's got to glow, because that's how it got into this mess in the first place. So once the journal glows, we can then progress. Plus the area has changed, we can't explore the glen, so... See you guys then, I guess.